All right, welcome back to XCOM 2, or War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Turan, and we are beating the game with only two soldiers on the highest difficulty. I restarted the game uh, for those of you in the last mission who were wondering what happened. Uh, the uh, game completely froze. Apparently, uh, it was too much to bear that we um, are now playing since 17 months. So the game decided to cause some issues. There is not much going on, as you can see, uh, but we got the new resistance order inside knowledge, uh, making all weapon modifications just a little bit more powerful. And you could um, imagine that that's quite helpful for us. Um, let us uh, do that. Yep, I think we're fine. We don't need reduced uh, black market costs for now. Pretty much we're very fine. We have the finest uh, um, resistance orders. All mission timers increased by two. Uh, between the eyes, super strong. Uh, the sabotage one, very, very strong. Inside knowledge, very strong. Mental fortitude, like probably the five strongest, uh, uh, strongest uh, ones are all within this mission so i am feeling very very good about this now we got an engineer here we we'll neutralize the field commander that's interesting let's destroy an alien relay for 90 intel or a scientist and uh, prevent these sled rounds. But that's to protect the device. So we're going to go with the neutralization of the field commander. Let's directly uh, fly over there. Normally we start the mission, uh, the, we start uh, the episode with a mission. Neutralization of a field commander. I think we're just going to do the easy mode here and we're going to go with Edgar, Alien Poe, and uh, Dragonover. Pretty straightforward, really. Uh, I don't think that there is a team which could do that uh, easier. Both of them will simply scout everything out. Uh, Edgar, Alien Poe, at some stage, will uh, use his uh, sniper rifle, kill him. And then it's a non-timed mission, and usually non-timed missions, unless something unforeseen happens, are pretty easy, because uh, when there is no timer to beat, you can very slowly and calmly approach the mission. That's exactly what we're going to do. The rewards by now for the missions aren't uh, really relevant. We got everything uh, that we would uh, need, even really good rewards like a colonel, um, whom we could get, aren't necessary. I mean, it's a nice to have, but that's probably about it. Good. Here we go. Once you hit the ground, find our target and eliminate them as quickly as possible. Well, thank you, Bradford, for this beautiful introduction. And thank you, as always, for dropping us so far away from the actual target. Sweep the area and eliminate the target along with any other hostiles that stand in your way. All right. Let's give it a go. I am at your service. I mean, we could. Uh, this direction looks a little bit dangerous. I think we're taking the high ground over here. Let's figure out if that's a good idea. Upwind. 
Yeah, it's a, I guess it's a solid idea. This up here could be another uh, good option. Mm. Yeah, probably this here is better. We're waiting for now. I really don't want us to be discovered. Because discovery means we're going to start the timer and that's exactly what we do not want to happen. Okay, well, that's pretty interesting, but we also don't want to be uh, spotted out. So before that happens, let's rather move over here. Like, I don't want any unforeseen events to happen. The only problem with that sort of mission is now that we're starting to di uh, to um, uh, discover all of the enemies uh, pot by pot. We're also slow. Uh, they are also very slowly going to take a turn every single time. Okay, nice. We got a homing mine. Remote start, another remote start, another remote start, another remote start, another remote start. Okay, so that's all fine and good. But I think we can uh, start without losing our cover. No place for you to go now. Okay, hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's get up here. Okay, I think we still got death from above um, versus these targets here. So this here would theoretically be a kill. So far they don't know that we're here. But I think we can start it. Hostile target down. We're visible here. Hmm. 
Nice, the crit almost killed him. Oh my gosh, we're getting a hair trigger that's even sweeter. No, no, no. Nah, that's barely not reaching him. But this here uh, should at least let us see him. Which, in return, allows us to at least take a shot. It's a long shot, uh, <laughs> in the literal sense of the meaning, but that's fine. I don't know if we even need a homing mine for these guys. Yeah, I didn't get it. And the captain is almost dead. Good, easy. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. Okay. Apparently everyone is moving here now. We are reloading, and after reload, I would say give it a little bit of a kill zone. Lots of potential remote starts. None of them helps us, unfortunately. Can we remote sort something near the specter? No. Well, we tried. I'm going to reload and let the kill zone do its uh, magic.
Yeah, we don't even need to waste ammunition on these guys. Target neutralized. Hmm. Okay, so we're not seeing anyone. Good. I think it's not necessary that we attack it right away. We can wait. Overwatch. Oh, look at you! Hmm. Can't grapple anywhere. Like if we could grapple to here, it would have solved a lot of our issues. Unfortunately, we can still see the mutants. This here, by the way, would be a really nice shot. Hmm. I think we can do it. Let me try it with Banish. Let me think about it. I still think this here is probably the best position. Completely exposed, but just strategically so, so important. He's just going to use his uh, shield and he's probably, I was about to say, ah, he's hitting into untouchable. Yeah, okay, easy, easy. I was about to say he's probably going to take a shot into untouchable, but it doesn't matter, like his normal attack into untouchable is good enough, no problem.
Shield Pharah is probably going to take one shot. But that's okay. One of these days they might hit me. We could have taken one hit. Going to restills very soon. We're green to go. Just want to make sure that we're not triggering this other pack. On your order. Target neutralized. Back into shadows. Let's get the loot. I can get there. I have what you wanted. Good, that's the let's last pack. Nice. Let's start it. Alright, let's reload, kill the Archon, get untouchable. And maybe even kill the mutant. Ah uh, no, but heavily wound him. This should get us another ability point for an ambush kill. One of many. Perfect. Easy. With the new sniper rifle, uh, the Edgar uh, Poe is just dominating. The increase in firepower is definitely noticeable. How often we have counseled you, our loyal citizens, to harbor no sympathy for the dissident factions that hide within our walls. For in the end, they shall always betray you. Such was the fatal lesson learned today by one prominent advent. Good, we're looking at yet another successful mission. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's almost at 250 kills, that's crazy. Good, we are almost done. Like I said, after this mission, we have made a number 
of new discoveries. Might need to see what uh, what else we can do after this mission. I will begin our research immediately. Good. Dodge increased by six. We got a couple of ability points. That was important. Let's see if there is anything that is worthwhile doing. A little bit of health. Okay. Uh, more health. Um, hacking. Will and Intel. Certainly don't need resistance contacts. Another dodge. Uh, there is yet another dodge mission here. Or eight more dodge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ten dodge. Uh huh. I might even think about. Uh, oh, ten dodge and six days, and ten dodge and nine days. I mean, what can you do? What can you do? It's we will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. It is so tempting. There are really a lot of good uh, plus dodge missions uh, this month. probably do the plus 10 and the other plus 10 just because it is incredibly uh, good like we would have uh, about 55 or 56 uh, dodge on Roby Our action together is complete command there we go Yeah, that's another, and it's only eight days. So we're currently looking at 44 dodge, so it's 54 dodge afterwards, which is more than every second shot um, of him will be dodged. Which also means we can keep the superior aim um, because we have enough dodge. Roby, Hogbite, Intel, eight days, perfect. Let's go. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. This time I'm thankful that the game is offering us no more uh, uh, no more uh, options. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Let's do it. If we're not doing it, we're... Um, although, let's think about it. If we're not doing it... We're going to lose New Australia. But we could regain it. We do have plenty Intel to make the connection. Eh, I'm just not the type who's giving up. And it's a nice landed UFO mission. We didn't have that in this run, so might as well give it a go. Plus, I wanted to see the skirmisher one more time. We haven't had a chance to appreciate him uh, enough. I'd like to uh, think that this team here might also be quite capable of doing it. Uh, but that's going to happen in the next uh, series. Pretty sure that it's going to be the last mission before we actually uh, do uh, the, uh, the grand finale. We 
uh, would have prop uh, properly equipped and properly um, staffed um, soldiers. So I'm pretty positive uh, that we could uh, do it. Um, if you liked what you've seen, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, see you in exactly three days. Thank you for watching. Take care and good night.